uses 66 magic, but it does good damage if you hit with it. Because I believe it does dark element. Yeah, and it has decent range. <laughs> Legion Soul is pretty good. Hmm. Now we get... I believe this is our second to last ability soul. Galamoth. Recognize places in which time has been stopped. That's what we have to have to get past the Chrono Mage Chamber. And for those who don't recognize who Galamoth... The name Galamoth, that is the uh, main boss of the Kid Dracula series, which is... I don't know if it's considered a prequel or a sequel to some of the Castlevania titles. Because I want, because there's debate on if you're playing as actually a young Dracula or if you're playing as young Alucard. Well, odds are you're playing as Alucard whenever you see young. But it's a much more lighthearted series and plays a lot more like Mega Man than Castlevania. AKA, it's a good series. So, well, correction, it's still a good series. Gold Ring. Okay, equip. Gold Ring is makes enemies leave behind more money when you wear this ring. Right now, that is what we need. We need more money. Because I'd like to be able to get, you know, enough money to get the Soul Eater's Ring. Otherwise, we're going to be farming with Succubus for a long time. And let me tell you, grinding on a Succubus is a bad idea. I've heard it can kill you. So... Yeah. I may need the Succubus Soul, but grinding to get the Succubus Soul, it, it, it's not fun to do. Not fun to do. There's still going to be a little bit of grinding, but we have the Soul Eater's Ring. Should be easy to do. Alright. Oh, Laura Un. Eat lasers. No, I don't think I've ever actually gotten the Laura Un soul. No, wait, yes I have. Yes I have. Did a 1% 1, 1 soul run before. It's just been a long time. I guess I just never used it. Now that we got this done... We're gonna move on and head towards the next area. Which, sure, remember correctly, is to our left. And as you can see, Graham has impaled Yoko. Damn, I hate to be interrupted. Yoko! Are you alright? If you're okay, say yes, something. Anything! I'm... oh... alright. Thank you... for rescuing me. Graham, that bastard. What has he done? He has... absorbed this castle's power and... he's gotten much stronger. Uh, my plan has... failed. Save your strength. There's no need to speak. Be cautious of him. But don't overexert yourself. What? Yoko! Oh, she's just unconscious. She's still breathing. Now, okay, I want to I put something out here. If I was to re have this game remade, this point right here where it goes, what, Yoko? I'd want the page to cut off right there and hold on that for a moment. Couple ellipses, then after it say, oh, she's just unconscious, she's still breathing. To give a little more weight to that, because when you can see unconscious and the whole thing in one in one page, it takes a little bit of the weight out of it, you know? <laughs> I underestimated the amount of power he acquired. Don't just stand there mumbling. Yoko's in bad shape. Go. I will see to her wounds. I can't just leave her like this. She's my friend. Do not worry about her. I believe there are other things you need to do. Ram went to the throne. What's there? What are you hiding from me? I cannot say. You must go there yourself. And if you don't, you will lose Mina. And Yoko as well. Their fate is in your hands. Damn you. I don't like your attitude. But I don't think you're lying. 
I feel as though I'm being manipulated. I don't like it, but I'll do as you say. If we ever escape from this castle alive, I want to know everything. Fair enough. Now be on your way. All right. Oh, I want the loot that's down here. Hold up. We're going down. So we'll set. Scuda. But yeah, also when you think about it, they went full on in with the uh, Dracula references with Graham. I mean, full on in. I mean, not only has he, you know, been talking about stuff that Dracula would likely only know, but one thing that they did was, right there, they had him impale Yoko on a knife. And impaling was sort of what Dracula did, you know, Vlad Tepes, Vlad the, Vlad, Vlad the Impaler. Just, they would full on in with the lore there, I, I appreciate that. Ah, the arena. Yes. This place has some good, good stuff to it. And beam skeletons, which sadly, unlike their Symphony of Night counterpart, do not fire beams from their crotch. They fire it from out in front of their chest now, which makes me sad. Because beam crotch skeletons were always the greatest thing about Symphony of the Night. It's so bizarre, so weird, but again, Bizarre and weird is what makes this series great. Well, that and the that and the lore too. I also don't know why they changed from green to blue. Really don't understand that. Teleport room. We're gonna keep going. How much longer am I playing stream? You know, I'm not sure, because I kept saying I was going to call it multiple times now. Yeah, I still haven't. <laughs> it's just, I love this game so much, and we're so close to the end. That I almost feel like maybe I should just see it through to the end, because we're right near it. Right near it. After this, we've only got two areas left. Go attack, kittens! Oh, you're not doing much damage anymore, attack kittens. It, it may be time to swap you out. Um, yeah, I, I may just go ahead and finish off the game. Hey, we got Leviathan, the Fire Sword. It's a good weapon. Good weapon. But we've already got the best weapon in the game, so we're not really going to be using it. First, the only... Alright, one second. I'll just go ahead and show y'all what it looks like. Leviathan. Doesn't do as much damage. It's just a Fire Sword. It's a cool Fire Sword. But it's a Fire Sword nonetheless. Though, why Leviathan is a fire weapon instead of the uh, water weapon, I'm not sure. May have something to do with the fact that the Great Serpent, the Leviathan, show is supposed to show up around Ragnarok, which deals with the world, I believe, just ending in flames or something like that. No, it, it ends in in Thimble Winter, so it should be a water or ice weapon. Huh. Weird. Because I believe Thimble Winter happens whenever uh, the twin wolves devour the sun and the moon. They did their job. I give them. I give them props. They attacked me. They attacked me good. And was a giant sea creature. So yeah, fire makes no sense. I'm constantly confusing. It's a sea creature, not no fire. Yeah. Yeah, make, makes very little sense for it to be fire. But I guess they need something to be fire. Okay, hold up. We can get up there. On killer mantle. 
Mantle! I know I can Secrets Break this. I know I can. Dag Nabbit. How about you? How about you? Come on, Killer Mantle. Slice at me. Ow. Maybe not that hard. <laughs> Alright. Because you're not supposed to be able to get up there before... Well, that's down there. Let's get the Wear Tiger. Come on, Wear Tiger. Come on. Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Come on. Come on. There we go. No! Oh, I know I can do this, though. I know I can do this. I know I can get up there. I've done it before. We're going to sequence break this. Dag nab it. Come on. Oh, okay, you know what, Killer Mantle, you're not helping. I'm gonna use this Warrior Tiger. Come on, Warrior Tiger. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here, Warrior Tiger. Come here. Thank you! <laughs> well, not the way I meant to sequence break it, but we take those! <laughs> Someone clip that! <laughs> All right, here's the Succubus. Succubus and a Lilith. Just hanging out in the spa. Black Cloak nearby. Which I believe we will change. We will switch out our gold ring for the Black co Cloak. Uh, later. First, I want. I need to get the Succubus Soul. Just straight up need to get the Succubus Soul. Oh, Succubus, I'm sorry. I mean... Attack Kittens, I'm sorry, but I think your t your time is over. You're not doing near enough damage anymore. Yeah, sadly, Attack Kittens are not doing enough damage anymore. We are going to switch over to Legion. We need that Succubus Soul. That is the third soul we need. We're sorry, second soul we need. We haven't got we haven't gotten our second one yet. So used to having a different soul by this point that I don't need a little soul. Just need the Succubus Soul. All right. All right, you she devil. Give me your soul. I need it for my collection. Yoink. Well, there's Lilith, not the one I'm after. I was excited for a moment, then I realized I killed the wrong one. Ooh, money! Yeah, the Succubus Soul has given me a rough time. We may come back for the Succubus Soul if we don't get it here soon. Because we do seem to be getting money at a steady pace now. So, we just need one proper drop from the Succubus with, with its soul. Come on, Sucky Lady. Come on, Succubus. Just need your soul. Just need your soul. I'm not asking much. Clearly, you're a demon. You already gave up your soul. So I'm not asking much. Matter of fact, your soul being with me is going to serve more, more good than if it was to be given to your other master. Come on. I just need your soul. Uh. All right. So, we may be here a while, folks. We may be here... There we go. <laughs> Absorb enemies' HP when an ordinary attack is delivered. Well, now that we got that, we can equip the gold ring and equip... Black Cloak. Or was the Ancient ba Belt better? Ancient Belt is better. All right. Soul Set. 
Succubus. Alright. Now we get 5 HP for everything we hit. Every time we land a hit on anything, even the torches. So we can heal ourselves pretty frequently now. And this guy right here is essentially a non-stop source of HP, if we want him to be. We got the Were Tiger. Nice. We can now show Ryukin enemies. Ah, the giant skeleton. And then we get a thousand dollars. Now this is normally where you go if you want to grind money to get the Soul Eater Ring. As you can see, thousand gold each time. That makes it very worthwhile. But, since we have the Mimic Soul, you know, Soul Eater Ring can be gotten in other ways. Oh! Let's go me on. We can set enemies with Poison Claws. What's that one? I don't think I've actually ever used this one. Where's Skull me on? Oh! Okay. It's a quick... It's a rather quick attack, but honestly, I don't think it's that good. I mean, it does strike quickly, but... Eh. But before we save the game, let's change our souls around. Uh, we're gonna go with... Let's see, where's our flame fire demon? Flame demon, here we go. And for now, we will keep the flying armor on. Let's save. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Because I got more tea. Fun fact, I've actually had I have actually had a two-gallon thing of green tea next to me this entire time. So that's why I'm able to keep drinking my tea. <laughs> All right, now comes the fun part. Now we're actually gonna switch out our suc succubus soul for the mimic soul during this, just because we're gonna get money here. We're gonna get money from getting hit. All right, you got the Rubicant. This this one's probably the easiest of the trials that we got right here to go through. And why we're going through it? Just to prove we can. Because I've done pretty much everything else, so... We're gonna finish this off. Because right now we have... I think only three boss fights to go left in the game. No, four. Four. Oroks' suit. The suit of Count Olrox, who is the uh, vampire from Nosferatu. There's some PSG boats. Ooh, so we can have a little Castlevania Tea Party? Yes! Castlevania Tea Party is good party. I mean, I always love me some good tea. Especially sweet tea. Sweet tea is my favorite. Well, sweetened tea, not just sweet tea. I like green tea with blueberries mixed in it. Or anything that sort of has that fruity flavor to it, just because I have a I have a horrible sweet tooth. I will not deny it. I have the world's worst sweet tooth. 